Hi, it's Ken Mayhew, a little buddy. We're going to cut out a windshield today in a 2015 Chevy Malibu, and we're going to talk about speeds that you want to run the drill at to cut out the windshield successfully without breaking the string. We're going to talk about different drills, show you how to use the drills, um, different speeds on the drills. Most people are aware, but some people aren't. Um, let's just talk about this first drill over on the left. Less expensive drill. It's a 20 volt. It has a torque setting and it also has two different speeds on it. This drill will not run at higher RPMs. When I give a technician this tool, he's very successful cutting out a windshield and not breaking the string because he's going at a speed he can't max out the tool, which would then possibly break the string. So this is a very good drill to start out with. As you evolve and you want to go faster, when we cut out this windshield, we're going to show you the areas where you can go fast and the areas where you could slow down. This is a DeWalt 20 volt, more than enough power to do the job. Again, it has two speeds and a torque setting. This is the drill we're going to use to cut out this windshield. It is a factory set. It looks like it is. We'll find out for sure when we remove the windshield. But we're going to use this drill to cut out this windshield. We've got, again, with this drill, two different speeds. I'm going to run in the low speed. I'm going to run in first gear. You can go to the second gear on some of these more powerful drills, but it's really not recommended. Only in certain areas can you go into the higher speed and really cut fast. Third drill here has the most power of the three of them. It's got more of a 90 degree. It's got a narrower angle of mounting. It can get in tighter spots. Certain windshields, you're not going to have a lot of room. Smaller, compact cars, you're not going to have as much room when you're cutting out a windshield with the mongoose. So let's get started and show you how easy it is to cut out this windshield. Okay, we've got this Chevy Malibu 2015. It has setting posts. Again, we want to show clearly how you take the trim protector that you can remove from the tool, but you would have it in the tool. I'm going to show you where to place it on the windshield so that you slice off the setting post and the line doesn't go through the plastic and then break. So we're obviously up in the driver's top corner we've put our little lens scope right in there now we're going to go to our screen to show you our setting post the yellow setting post now you can see that very clearly towards the top would be the windshield and obviously our post now I'm going to take this trim protector and show you where to position it and then we're also going to watch the string cut through the urethane and slice off the adhesive that holds the setting post to the windshield. Okay, now we're going to show you how easy we slide the duck bill in.
can see how the line is going flush to the glass. Okay, you can actually see the yellow stop the setting post it's loose and sitting just in the metal hole so now we'll cut out the rest of the windshield okay, obviously on the passenger side of the vehicle we've cut out the driver's side we've run the line over to the passenger side and mounted the mongoose trim protector right before the setting post which is right in this area getting the line to come up flush to the glass trim protector there, keep the line underneath the trim protector, have your string be flush to the glass, you should be able to cut all the top out, and then all we got to do is mount it down here, and this windshield will be out. So let's get going. Now if you've noticed, I had the cup and the mongoose positioned over here more and the tool was twisted this way. Now I've repositioned it in this corner because we want to tackle this setting post. I brought the cup closer to this angle, to the side. When the string comes around the corner, it'll create a better angle to cut through the urethane. So let's cut out this side.
All right, we've cut along the top. We've cut all the urethane out on the top. We've gone around the corner. I've moved them on to us to the passenger's bottom corner. Now we've just got to cut down the A-pillar on the passenger side. Okay, now our windshield is loose. 